<laughs> Good morning, party people. <laughs> Welcome to The Breakdown with Nath and Johnny. We're going to check out a full-blown OG pop-punk band, MXPX. Um, what was the big song they had? Is it Was it Responsibility? Was that one of their big ones? Uh, they were driving around in a golf buggy. Or I don't know, I've ever seen that. a film clip from them. I oh. listened to them when I was first like, getting into punk and pop-punk when I was maybe 14. And I listened to... <coughs> I got what you're talking about. I listened to the album 10 Years and Running. And it was their 10-year okay. best of. <coughs> Am I good? Oh, I, have, oh, I do have old water. Oh, I can taste the dust. <coughs> yeah, I listened to them yeah, a lot in high school. I have not kept up with them, to be honest. They were one pop punk band that I never got into. Oh, really? I had one of their albums, didn't listen to it a whole lot. Don't know why. Can I call you sweetheart? Oh, it's Michael Rare, right? Doll. Yeah. Yeah. I know him. If uh, I had your number. Bevo was a huge fan. Yeah, he has He's his tattooed on the yeah. calf, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that. Bevo sings for Rage. We checked them out not long ago. Uh, local boys from the Central Coast here. Yeah, their singer is a huge MXPX fan. Uh, I'm keen to check this out because even though I wasn't a huge fan back in the day, I feel like I know what their sound is, and I'd be interested to see what they sound like now. Okay. Inspire into their career. So we're going to jump in, like and subscribe, check out the socials and help us out. Um, the song's called What I Tell Myself. What do you tell yourself? Hey, baby, I'm so cool. I'm so handsome. <laughs> That's Johnny. <laughs> check out the merch. Ah, there's four of them now. There could have been four of them for ages and we just don't know. Yeah, okay. I tell myself to keep my head from real and don't trust myself. I can't ignore my feelings. I try to sit down. I try to relax. I try to take time. I can't take things back. Still got the snake bites. Yeah. I've got to say as well, uh, except for, you know, a slight receding hairline, he, Mike does not look like he's aged at all. No, and that's literally 25 years ago I listened to them. Yeah. So that's pretty wild. Um, yeah. Yuri, the drummer, has always looked like he doesn't fit in the band to me. He's just like a real, like, happy, nerdy looking dude. I love that vibe. Also, the other guitarist, I don't know his name. Chris, uh, I think. I if you, um, in this still that we've shot it on, he looks so much like Carl Pilkington. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> care what else they say, cause I'm not falling. Don't make up, social collapse keeps calling. So cop your own breath, driven right towards the light. For my mistakes And I just couldn't understand The amount of pressure that it takes Still trying not to Just can't forget what's next But we still gotta try not to give up Yeah I like that, it's catchy The guitar line, yeah. so catchy, yeah, yeah
I really enjoyed that whole song. That oh, that's sick. cool. That's such an iconic sound. Um, yeah. The style, his vocals. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that. Maybe I should give them a deep dive. Who is the kid? I want to know. Is it one of their kids? Simple music video, but enjoyable and wholesome. Yeah. It was very colourful and bright. And Yeah, I just, I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I, I, as I said, they were a band I was really into way back in the day, and I haven't really kept up with. It still sounds good to me. His voice sounded pretty good. Like, it sounds better now than it used to when it, he's learned to sing a bit better. Oh, okay, that's interesting. I mean, because... the way I was singing to start with was me trying to impersonate him a little bit. That, yeah. like, it was really I'd be interested and... to go and check the old stuff out now and have a more current, like, because you know them better than I do. So yeah. I'd love to go and listen to the old stuff and then compare it to that as well, because... Yeah, it's it, and it's such a, it's such an age specific style of vocal. Yep. Yeah. And it's so weird that he still sounds. I mean, that's your thing. You're exactly not gonna like, like awesome. Like, and now I'm gonna change my singing type altogether. Well, Tom from Blink One Eighty Two. So that's that's his voice has gotten the same way Tom's has. His voice has gotten better over time. I think yeah. Tom's voice sounds better too. You listen to the first Blink album versus the last one. He's just yelling the first bit, like. Yeah. It is one of those things. It's still the same tone. He's just gotten better at using it because he's been using it for 30 years doing the same thing. He also, Mike also keeps it in that sort of same sort of range, doesn't yeah. he? Just yeah, doesn't, yeah. doesn't yeah. move out of it too much. And I don't know. Yeah, I thought that was all right. What, what did you guys, guys think? think of what I tell myself from MXPX? Have you checked them out? As I said, we're showing our age here a bit. But for those young guns out there, do a little deep dive. They're really fun. I like them. As I said, that 10 years running album was like... I'd know all the songs back to front on that one. So yeah, okay. Give it a go. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. <laughs>